Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn about HLOOKUP function. HLOOKUP function works almost the same in Microsoft Excel as well as Google Sheet. So we will learn about what the function is, what is its syntax, how to use, what are the best practices, what are some of the caveats to follow, along with two examples in Google Sheet. HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP both are from the lookup family of function in Google Sheets. Both of these functions achieve the same result as well. However, when to use HLOOKUP and when to use VLOOKUP, it depends upon how your data is structured or what is the layout of your data. For example, if your data is structured vertically, means in this kind of layout where the data headers are in a single row. Then you need to use VLOOKUP. However, the same information is transposed over here and here data headers are placed in a single column. And this is the horizontal layer of, of data. So in these cases, you need to use HLOOKUP function. Most of the data in a spreadsheets are arranged vertically. That is one of the reason you see VLOOKUP is very, very widely used everywhere. However, data in horizontal layout is also found in many of our business use cases. So one of the best use cases of horizontal layout of data is when you are tracking a few metrics of any of the business processes, on a daily basis, then you will have metrics in one of the single column and this metrics performance will be arranged day wise for past 30 days or past one year. Then that would be a horizontal layout of data and there you need to have a HLOOKUP function if you want to run a lookup. Let's move to first example and we will understand the syntax of HLOOKUP function as HLOOKUP stands for horizontal lookup means it looks up for a value horizontally and once it finds the value it looks down in the same column and returns a value depending upon how you configure your HLOOKUP function. In another words HLOOKUP scans a row for your search key and then once it found the search key it looks beneath and returns your data value from the same column let's understand it through the example so we have employee data in a horizontal layout where data headers are placed in a column we need to find information pertaining to employee ID E103. We want to know employee name, department and salary. So I am writing equal to HLOOKUP. The first parameter is search key. So I want to search for E103. I am referencing it with C8. I could have hard coded it as a text as well. Second is the range from which you want to search. So you have to give a search range. So you must configure your search range in a way that your search key is placed in the first row. So here my search key is an employee ID. So my range selection would start from the first row and my range must include the row which I want to retrieve. So I want to retrieve employee name. So it must include row corresponding to employee name. So this is the bare minimum search range selection. If I want, I can do it more as well. That's not an issue. Here my first row is employee ID. Second row is employee name. So the index that I want is 2 because I want to retrieve data from the second row of the selected range. And fourth parameter is 0 or 1. 0 for an exact match, 1 for an approximate match. You can also write false 
instead of 0 or true in place of 1. However, I will suggest you to use false or 0 uh, because in 99% of the cases you would be dealing with the exact matches. So it has returned me the name as Anil. Now I want to retrieve department name with search key as E103. So I am writing equal to HLOOKUP. My search key is E103. Here I am hard coding it as a text. So my search range selection should be such that my first row will include my search key. So my search key is in employee ID row. So this should start from here and it should go till department row and then I am locking it with the help of F4. Then I have to give the index from which I want the values to be returned. So in the selected range, I want value to be returned from third row. So first row, second row, third row. And I want an exact match. Okay. So department is HR. Now salary. So let me show you a variation of HLOOKUP. Now I would be searching it based upon employee name, not the employee ID. So my search key has become Anil. So my search range should be selected such that employee name is in my first row because search key should always be present in your first row and then you should go till salary row because you want to retrieve salary. So then I am locking it and in the selected range salary is at third index so in the selected range first index is employee name second index is department and third index is salary so i am selecting three i am typing zero for an exact match and it has returned salary as twenty five thousand for anil hlooka function is not case sensitive means if I am changing it E103 to let's say E103, uh, still it was able to perform this search operation because here we have passed search key as E103, E is in cap, however in search range it is in a small e. So HLOOKUP function is case insensitive. Let's go to second example. So here you have data as employee ID, address and marital status and you have to fetch their name, department and salary from another table which table is in another sheet. So this is one of the most common use cases of combining tables. If you are liking our content, uh, please do consider subscribing to our channel and liking the video. Here we have to get employee name uh, corresponding to these employee ID. So there is a common connector across these two tables which is employee ID and this is a unique key. I am writing HLOOKUP. Search key is this and I am selecting the search range. Search range is this range. You should select a range such that your search key is found in the first row in HLOOKUP function. So I have selected this range and I am locking the range as well so that I can drag the formula towards right or down as the need be without changing the search ranges during drag. As you can see it has nicely nomenclatured the range with example 1 uh, B2 dollar sign h5 then employee name i will get in this search range in the second index means second row in the selected range and i want an exact match now i am uh, dragging uh, this formula towards here and you can see uh, e108 e109 e107 it has returned na 
because we don't have those uh, values available over here so you can do a if error management over here if error value if error is not found then i am dragging it right so these are the values which are not found i want to drag this formula to the down so i am locking the row number 2 but you can see uh, it did not return us department and salary uh, because we have not changed the index so department is in third index and salary is in fourth index considering search key is employee id department 3 and salary is fourth now i am dragging it to right so b we combined both of these tables so we had address and marital status available over here however we didn't had employee name department and salary so we fetched it with the help of h lookup from another table in many of the cases you might have to fetch these informations from another spreadsheet you can use import range function or sometimes you might need to restructure your range so the function works very optimally so you might need to use a query function in those cases if you want me to cover those cases please comment on the video so i can prioritize those content for you if you want to know more about lookup functions then this is the video where i have covered vlookup in detail so let's meet there in the vlookup video guys thank you